Finally back at it. Look at where we starting, baby. Is that how you start a big man? That's how you start? Yeah? Today, what I'm gonna try to do, since this little man's here, I can't really weld. I'm gonna try to put on the throttle body and start hooking up and plumbing for the supercharger, baby. Let's go ahead and see what we can do today and then go from there. Well, go ahead, go put them in your little house. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dropping. Oh, no. Uh, how you gonna get it? How you gonna get it? Yeah, there you go. Look at you, big man. You got all those in your hand. You gonna take it to your house? <laughs> you made it. There you go, now you got to do some work. Go. Hopefully. I'm just sitting here spray painting parts, just doing dumb stuff. But came out pretty clean, it came out pretty good. I'm gonna leave this here to dry. I'm gonna spray paint this one and then I'm gonna get going. This is almost done. I'm gonna put all this, this on tomorrow and then probably do the exhaust tomorrow, I'm hoping. Because once the exhaust is up, I can line everything up down there, close everything up and be done with underneath the car and start focusing on putting the supercharger together and getting it fired up, so. Let's cross our fingers. Now that is a professional tape job. Golly. It takes only two minutes to do this. Time to paint this bad boy. Let's go. It's a little too cold outside for you painting. It's never too cold, baby. Just heat it up. And just start laying down, man. And then back to the heat. That's not, there's no paint on here. How y'all think? How would y'all think? How would y'all think? It was our cooler. <laughs> got that done. And also got this one done. So we're about to look brand new, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, once I can get this up, good to go. Tomorrow, we will see. Deuces. Vortec. Vortec. What's that say? Vortec. What's that say? Vortec. Let's get it, baby. All the way. Beautiful. Going up to mount these bad boys. See where I need to put the flanges and start welding. Hopefully get it up today. Let's go. I know this doesn't fit. It's hitting all on my cross, remember? That's stupid. Well, that sucks. I don't know why it doesn't fit. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know what these were from. Because these are the same exact X pipes. Well, it's supposed to be Bassani and Bassani. I don't know which ones these are, because this is even longer right here. But even if I screw it up to the tip to where they do match right there. Yeah. Get this back part out. And then look at how narrow it is. So this one gets kicked out. The bottom one is kicked out. So probably definitely going to have to cut the bottom one. I'm going to see. I didn't want to, but I might have to. Look at the old spark plug. God dang, it's 50. I asked on one of the pages, on one of the Facebook pages and stuff, just to see what everybody else was running. People were running like 26 and 30. So, good thing I got these. I also seen, I just, I just got Motorcraft. I'm gonna see what they do. Uh, if not after that, I'll get the NGKs if these are too horrible. But let's get it on, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we're back again, baby. Look at this, 32 on this bad boy right here. And it looks like it's almost used. Don't it look yellow? 
Okay. Look at this big old bad boy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think he's overkill on it, but anti-seize on this bad boy real quick and then throw it in. Let's get her done. Completely forgot that uh, I had a spark plug or spark plug rethread or something like that a long time ago on his driver's side. I'm hoping this is not a bad sign. And I'm hoping that it was the one that he repaired because this is a new one. I paid like 400 bucks for that crap. Hopefully, hopefully it is one he repaired, but we'll see. This one is changing a little wet still. This car has not been fired up at all in like a long time. It's been like a year. You can see the rust on there. Is that rough? But look at this one. This is all in uh, seven. That's rough. I don't know why they sent me red ones. I actually ordered blue. I might have ordered black. Ooh, all three colors. <laughs> yeah. I like a lot. This red actually goes. I don't know. I'm not tripping. It matches the rubber in the inside of these. I had to scream at Dennis, which you'll never see. Well, I'm gonna finish this up, putting the dielectric grease in, and then I should be done with this. And we'll be good to go to plug everything else in. What is this? What is this? I'm reading up online too. I don't think I'm putting this on. A lot of people have been saying it's trash. It's no use of it, and it ruins things. So I do need to get a new one of these, I think, because the guy that wrecked the uh, the SN before, the one I got the supercharger from, he done did some damage. Get the flow on this joint. I think there's a leak, maybe. So that has to be replaced. Dang, something so simple, so small. Good hey, for every advancement, there's always a setback. Yep, that's probably gonna be some time to actually get that in. It shouldn't be that expensive though. That is probably like 60 bucks. What you just said, is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Well, chopped it up. I'm not gonna buy one. They don't have none. All they have is ones with cats and all this and that. So it's like 600 bucks. Not gonna do it. So I'm gonna cut it up, find my right angle. As of right now, I just made my first cut on this one. So this is how it was before. Look at the angle, it kind of goes straight. I'm trying to get it to where it curves out more like that. But the thing is, as of right now, I'm not looking at a perfectly closed hole. It's gonna be some gaps everywhere. You know, mess with the airflow. I'll probably have to angle this, that way it'll be flush on there to where the airflow is perfectly and even and not catching up on things, which it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be pushing that air out with that supercharger, baby. So I'm gonna do the same with this side. This side's the same too as well. I did all my marks. This is exactly how it was and I want it to be like, kind of like that. So that way it doesn't hit the, the tranny cross member. But as long as it doesn't hit that, we're in the clear, we're good to go. This is my aim, this is my goal to actually try to make it to where it fits flush between those two instead of dangling and hanging down and smacking on it every time you hit a bump. But I want it to be tucked perfectly fine. So I'm gonna just cut this a little bit and cut this one, finish cutting this one, and then we're good to go. And I'm gonna try to tack it on and see what it's looking like underneath there. Yeah. All right, three hours later. No, I'll play. Good news and bad news. I found my angle. I think it's straight. Found my angle, but uh, I got a little lip right there. You know, can't have that. That's gonna be nasty. Cause air's coming from this way. It's gonna just drag all right there. I don't want that. This one's pretty smooth. I could probably move it a little bit over, but the angle's perfect. Weld it up, close it up, be good. This is not as much of a drag right here as much as this lip is. This one, you can actually go across it. I'm gonna weld this side up, finish it up, and I'm gonna figure out what to do with this side because this one needs to get, get an angle. But look at that, Ooh, just a fit, yikes. Now I gotta chop this at an angle, smack something on there, and we'll be good. Let's get her done, baby. I just wanted to show y'all a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm proud of because it takes years to get to this level, okay? It takes years. Don't mind me, but you know what I'm saying? No, it's just, it's just a tack. Like, look at this. It's just two little funky tacks. Boom, boom. That's crazy. I gotta knock it off with a hammer. You know what I'm saying? I might have to cut it off. I don't know. I'm just trying to deburr in the inside. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this crap is really hard, though. Perfect job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Fresh off the press, baby. All right, well, I'm pretty much done. It kind of did scoot over on me, not gonna lie. Chad just reminded me that all four tacks are supposed to be on there, which, to be honest, never knew. Never really paid attention to that stuff, but Chad went to the welding school. You know me, I just learned off the streets, baby. <laughs> I just learned off the streets, but uh, I got this side. I still don't know what to do with this side yet. This actual angle fits underneath the trendy. We'll figure this out later. Got one side done. I'm happy finally getting back to it. I haven't done this stuff in months. Yeah, the dad bot grew a lot more. Yeah, can you see it? That quarantine life. Oh, but no. <laughs> All right, well, we'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to this. I need to finish this exhaust so where I can finish this car. This is what you've seen off of Bugs Bunny and stuff. When they used to try to put it out and be like, what? Why didn't they put it out? You can put it out. Oh my God. Ah! It ain't going. <laughs> I am burning my shoes. Now it's out. <laughs> All right, so this is what I was talking about, the angle of it. So the angle of this had a lip, basically. Lip was like that, yeah. And that's too much of a gap overhang, so. And too much drag right there. It's not even too much drag, it's just the fact that you want it as close as possible to normal. So what I'm gonna do is to bend it, I'm gonna angle it this way a little bit and drop this cut just a little bit straighter instead of looking like an exhaust tip. That way I can have that bend still, but just it won't be as bad of a lip boom that is a lot better got the angle still all i gotta do is just tack it on fit it up there maybe make some adjustments if not i'm gonna just fully weld it and then start with the actual piping and the flanges and then we'll be good to go a little 50 dollars x pipe turned into a 300 dollars job you know what i'm saying come on now all right just went to go try some fitment i only got two tacks on there word of the wise Travis taught me, you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that there is four, all, all in all, especially when it's in a circle. So one on top, one on bottom, two on the sides, on each side. That way, once it starts like shrinking or expanding or something like that, it doesn't move, which I learned that on the other side because it started moving. So I have two tacks and then I'm gonna just throw on two more back here and then we're good to go to throw everything on. Let's get her done, baby. Okay, so I'm taking this last video only because the battery died before, so it kind of cut me out once I was welding up the exhaust. But the exhaust is pretty much welded up, it's done. Don't mind me, those are burger welds, they look nasty, but it grips and holds perfectly fine. It's beautiful. After like two years, after like two years of actually not welding, I'm decent, you know? Let's go under here. I did do some stuff without the camera on. Check me out. Check out the JB Well. Oh, it's dry. It's it's stupid hard. That ain't that better not come out either. I, I layered it right here, some a little bit of extraness right there. That way it doesn't just right out, you know? But people may ask, why would I do such a thing? I don't plan on removing this supercharger for a minute. But also you can buy a new brass piece right here. That's that's no big deal. You can buy an adapter anywhere. Um other than that, I'm just waiting for the AC manifold. Here, look, check this out. Oh, Oh, where's that coming from? I don't know where that's coming from. That ain't good, but look. If any of you guys have any recommendations on what heat exchanger I should go with, I would appreciate it. But also as well, I've been trying to look for one for an AC manifold. What I'm talking about is uh, this piece. Boom, goes right up top, mounts right up there. The only reason why I'm looking for one is because my foolish tail thought this was bent. It's probably just factory like that, but it is a little lopsided, which I didn't get. But I'm pretty sure it's bent like that. But I just seen the lip right there. And I'm like, dang, it's gonna cause some back pressure right there. What's that? But try to bend it with a socket, ended up bending the tube and it's pretty much trash. So if any of you guys might have one lying around or know anybody, let me know, all right? All right, so until next time, man, we will catch y'all later. Stanky, we out.